Welcome to security testing for SOAP UI. In this tutorial we'll take a look at security testing, how do we do it, how does it work and where do we find it. I'm going to start by including our sample project found within your installation package. So I'm going to create a new project, browse and insert our basic starter document which I will fetch from my local disk, then the program files, in the SOAP UI Pro section and there we have sample service. Open and OK. There we go, we have our sample document. So to work with the test cases I need to run a test suite. Thus we retrieve our test cases. So I'm going to work with one of the cases, in this case we have the buy, the login, the logout, the search. I'm going to work for the login just for now. Seems the most natural. Now I'm going to open the first test case so we can actually expand it. Within it you'll see a test step, load test and security test. Now this is what we'll be working with. You can see an empty security test node in the left tree. Now the test step is filled nothing's been loaded and there's no security test which we need to add so to do that let's right click on the security test and click on new security test thus you will see you will receive the following dialog box now select the auto mode to generate default security scans and assertions for the test step in your test case press next and then of course you'll see a summary of all the security scans and assertions SOAP UI will add to the security test. Press finish to complete the security test. Thus you'll receive the security test menu and list. Now first of all let's run the test by pressing the green arrow at the top. You will see ongoing progress for each test step and configured security scans in the security test window. You will see ongoing progress in the main window as the different security scans are executed. More detailed information is available in the security log at the bottom. As you can see over here, if we just expand that log just a bit. There we go. There's our log details. If you are really observant, you will notice that our, the removed security scan, if we remove a security scan, it can be removed from the log as well. Now the security log at the bottom of the security test window shows detailed information on, for instance, failed security, as you can notice the word error. Um, so click on the security scans in the main window if you want the log scroll to load them. So they can be identified as you click. So you can check here for any unexpected alerts that might indicate a possible security vulnerability in your target service. You can even double click individual entries to take a look at their options. And there we go. Not XML code, so that would refer to a syntax error. Now, say for instance your scans have been run, as this one is still progressing, you can also create a report. Make your managers happy by sending them a report of indicating the immense stability of your services. Now by pressing create report, which is this little green icon at the top, you can generate a familiar and readable report from the test scan to your phone. And there we go. Number of security scans, number of test steps, security test name, etc. So this would be your report that is easily readable to someone not working in SOAP UI. Hope you find this useful and that you can do your own security scans to your own SOAP UI projects.